This patient came in to us as she had left foot pain for about one month or so. Uh, she didn't really notice any injury. Her left foot just started kind of hurting out of the blue. Um, I had a tumor removed. Uh, it just grew pretty randomly, so I'm not sure why it was there, uh -huh. but yeah, I had, I had a tumor removed. It pushed my bone over a little bit. So we took x-rays and one thing we noticed was that her bone was actually starting to become deformed and she had a palpable kind of mass on her foot. Here are the x-rays uh, of the patient and it's really interesting because this soft tissue mass has actually caused the bone to change shape, which was obviously our first clue that something was unusual here. So if you take a look, here is the patient's third metatarsal. This is the patient's big toe, second toe, third toe. The Behind the third toe is the third metatarsal, and in this area right here is where the mass is. If we kind of zoom in and get a closer look at it, the mass that's in this space has actually caused an indentation in the bone right there. So that indentation in the bone is from the pressure of the mass pushing against that third metatarsal bone. So eventually we got an MRI and talked to her about the fact that she had this growth or this tumor in her foot and the only way in these cases to know whether the tumor is malignant or benign is to go into surgery and do what's called an excisional biopsy. So to just go ahead and take the mass out, send it to the pathologist and then the pathologist is really good about giving us a report that lets us know what kind of tumor it was and whether we got it all. So we did that uh, about a month ago. She went into surgery. We took out the mass or the tumor and luckily for everybody involved, it ended up being a benign tumor of her tendon sheath. And it's just a very interesting case because uh, it's rare to see a mass that's a primary mass in your foot that will actually cause the bone, which was her third metatarsal bone in this case, to change shape and change the uh, contour of the cortex of the bone. Uh, things went really well. Dr. Bennett and his staff are really kind. Um, Dr. Bennett's really good at answering questions, but really great bedside manner. Um, yeah, and he, he was, he just, I asked a lot of questions, so he answered all of them. She's now one month post-op and doing very well. She's starting to put weight on her foot and walk. We've taken the sutures out, the incisions healed. She just got a little bit of swelling, so we have her continue to elevate her foot and ice as necessary, as well as use an ace bandage. Uh, she's gone back to work part-time and we expect her to make a full recovery.